Sean French admitted to killing Bailey Bagshaw in her home in 2018. By admitting to the killing, French avoided the death penalty. Prosecutors originally filed capital punishment in the case. Fox 13's John Franke is at the Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office tonight with a look at the death penalty in Utah and the difficult decisions prosecutors are forced to make. John. Yeah, Bob, it's been 10 years since the last execution in Utah. Those prosecutions and those convictions are extremely rare in this state. In fact, currently there are only seven inmates on death row. But despite that, it is a difficult issue for prosecutors, loved ones of victims, and even state lawmakers. Today it's a decision that I make and it's a decision that I own. Whether or not to pursue the death penalty, it's one of the most difficult decisions Salt Lake County DA Sim Gill ever has to make. I don't approach this lightly. I struggle with it, but it is the law that we have. Confess killer Sean French stood before a judge Tuesday. Mr. French, is there anything that you would like to say or tell me? No, sir. French had nothing to say, not even an apology, before being sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. I think we got the appropriate verdict that we needed. French admitted that he murdered 15-year-old Bailey Bagshaw in her home. While Judge Paul Parker's sentence offers some closure, the pain will never leave Bailey's mom, Shauna. I went from having a 15-year-old to being an empty nester, and, and uh, I see my, my daughter's friends going to school now, and, and uh, it, just, it just hurts that she's not going off to her senior year in high school, and I won't be able to see those great things happen that she was destined to do. The death penalty was taken off the table after French confessed to the crime. In these cases, prosecutors like Gill work with the victim's family. One thing that we're very clear is that nothing that we do will ever return their loved one. To Gill them. believes this outcome French will receive the light of uh, free society again. Prevents decades of appeals and court appearances, chances to reopen the devastating wound. The death penalty case is taking that family and their pain through this long protracted journey of sometimes 25 and 30 years. The death penalty is a difficult issue in Utah. The honest answer is I struggle with it, as every good prosecutor should. Uh, those prosecutors who cavalierly reach for it, I don't think fully appreciate the responsibility of what that is. It's been more than 10 years since the state's last execution, Ronnie Lee Gardner in 2010. According to the Death Penalty Information Center, Utah is one of 34 states that have either abolished the death penalty or haven't carried out an execution in 10 years. You, you do that kind of a crime, there has to be a penalty. State Representative Paul Ray is a proponent of capital punishment. But the point for Utah is we have the highest bar in the nation to get the death penalty. So, you know, if you're getting the death penalty here, you're guilty. Ray fought back against recent attempts on Utah's Capitol Hill to abolish the death penalty. He believes the threat of execution helps prosecutors get confessions, and in only the most extreme cases is someone put to death. Some states execute more people in a month than we have on death row here, you know, and that's for a reason. You know, we save it for the very heinous uh, type of crimes. You know, these guys that are on death row here in Utah, it's not because they sing too loud in the choir on Sunday, it's because they're monsters. He expects this issue to come up again. They thought they were going to run it in 2020, but couldn't find a sponsor. For everyone involved, this is an issue of justice for those who no longer have a voice. We finally did it. We got justice for Bailey. And in several cases, Gill's office has filed for capital punishment, but in none of those has the verdict ever reached the death penalty. Live in Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.